Hello? Is this thing on? Yeah, I think it might be. Hey, maybe I can get the voiceover to work this time. Okay, so anyways, um, this whole piece that we're, the video that we're shooting, or that I'm shooting right here is about um, bringing the SC, uh, Sump City Radio Roadshow back to the sump. Um, the wall pieces I'm working on and all of it is pretty much bringing those guys back to where they belong in the shack. Uh, these first shots, I'm kind of, I've got the ridge hauler built finally and I'm trying to figure out which possibilities we're going to go because I got a trailer to go along with it and um, I'm trying to figure out whether their shack should be on the truck or on the trailer at this point. And I'm getting some good ideas with the trailer, it looks like. So, it looks like it's going to be on the truck. So, at this point, when I was fitting this in, um, and we want this to be playable, so we're going to have uh, as many opportunities to put models on this thing as possible, which wasn't really doable with the profile it had so i figured i'd widen it um i used the uh walkways from the promethium tank kit um yeah this worked um there was a lot of stuff i cut out in this video just because well one i don't think i put the ridge hauler together right um even though when I did put the trailer together right, it was still crooked. Um, so, you know, that's probably me. I think I've put that in my other videos already that I kind of like stuff crooked anyways. Um, yes, that might be because I usually glue things not straight, which is, you know, whatever. That's the way I like it. Um, you know, we're futzing with the side rails on this point and I'm trying to get a distance of course, without testing on a model while the glue is out, because I'll probably accidentally glue the model to the truck, which is not a good idea. Um, and, you know, yeah, basically I cut out all the stuff that didn't work and I got you to the end here. Um, so now we're doing the fits and I've got my little 3D printed dock running around out here just for spacing and get people inside, outside. Um, yeah. So anyways, I've added some more details onto the top and on the inside. Um, you'll see those a little later, but right here, we're gonna make the impromptu radar dish. Um, and I had to go digging for this. Um, I thought I had another one from the uh, Ash Waste kit but it looks like I used all of them uh, so I also think I wrote down in one of my earlier videos how well orc bits are uh, well this is from uh, the mechboy uh, kit and also from the Luda's kit um, a lot of what you see me scraping at this point is pretty much orc glyphs um, I really like making stuff like this, especially out of parts that I haven't touched for over 10 years. Um, this is my favorite thing about doing all of this terrain and everything is because, you know, I, I do have a massive amount of, of kits. Um, it's not very diverse, but I have an awful lot of the same thing over and over again. I got, I'm an orc player. Um, at best, Orc and Chaos player, so I have a ton of bits from, you know, years and years and years ago. Um, and, you know, they come in handy now, you know, especially when you kind of lose, lose a little heart. I was losing it on this build because, well, I don't really know why. Kind of just not very focused, but we're getting there. We're getting there, and, uh, this is helping a lot right here. This guy is going to be... I was, I was extremely happy with this. Um, yeah, 
That looks great. So, then we have a nice set, set piece from, uh, from the same Luda kit, it looks like. And we have uh, one of the spiky holders from the ash waste kits and that'll go right on top there it left a nice ball joint so that i could put that radar dish on an angle which was very very cool yeah this came together pretty pretty nicely i think the only thing that i'm disappointed at this point was that my camera was in the wrong place again um I'm very happy that I'm not giving you guys, uh, I'm at least able to turn the dumb thing um, so that I can give you a full, full screen shots of things. But yeah, so here we go on the, uh, the Ridge Hauler itself. This is the SCR shack or the, the roadshow shack anyways, with the radar dish on top. spinning it around and look it's not breaking so you know all that glue is coming in handy here I guess it's gonna come off I'm gonna leave that so you can take it apart because we might want to run that without a cart in there at some point like I, I like to make everything playable if I can um, yeah we're gonna get a look on the inside here you can see there's a toolbox up top lid comes right off on the inside we had computer screens and, and bunk beds so this is a shot with the trailer um, we're using a extra tall fuel tank and here is it with the sump barge um, yeah a buddy of mine dumped these on me uh, these are at least 15 years old i believe um, if he wanted to message me on this and, and maybe set me straight on the date, but I'm pretty sure it's 15 years. But I just wanted to get this out. I haven't done anything to the to the barge yet. Um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sump that up pretty good too with decorations and and give it a good paint job. This is gonna be a blast to paint. But if you guys have any questions, please feel free to comment. Um, and you know, thanks. It was a great time doing this. Have a good night.